Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the all new Transformers Red robot enhanced design, reformatting Megatron base and of course the awesome 1986 Transformers the movie. Now I do believe this is the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, that we're ever actually getting an official reformatting version of Megatron from Hasbro and I will be honest and say that in regards to an actual paint deco, this looks excellent. I actually wouldn't mind seeing this on say the Kingdom Galvatron or indeed an actual Siege Megatron. It would look fantastic but actually taking a look here at the package you can see an awesome image there of Megatron being reformatted into Galvatron, which is super cool. You can see Transformers the movie reformatting Megatron. A great window view display here of the figure. He is exactly the same as the Wave 1 Megatron, I believe. He even comes with the same accessories. It is merely just this time cast out of purple with a few additional paint apps. As we spin around here to the back of the box, you can see some fantastic promotional images. Really looking fantastic. I cannot wait to get this guy actually displayed alongside my Kingdom Galvatron as well as Unicron. And then, of course, here at the top, we've got the Transformers the movie logo. I was a little let down with the Optimus Primal in regards to quality control, so here's hoping that Megatron, despite being cast out of complete transparent plastic, definitely holds up a little better in regards to the materials. And so here we have reformatting Megatron cracked open and out of the packaging and actually thankfully no breakages on this figure at all. The QC on this guy is top notch as you would really expect from a now modern day Transformers product. Now this particular incarnation of Megatron is the same as the original version so in today's video I'll merely just be talking you through some of the differences which is all really down to the colour scheme. Now this particular version of Megatron is actually one that I'm really surprised Hasbro have never actually approached on a proper transforming version of this character as it looks fantastic. We've always gotten Megatron and Galvatron figures in the past but never an actual figure of the transition and I think that it would create for such an awesome color variation. You can see that in regards to this particular figure he's been completely cast out of transparent purple. Now of course I wish they could have gone a little more experimental with this. It would have been excellent if perhaps half of this guy was Galvatron and then the other half was Megatron just to really give you that impression that he is slowly transitioning and reformatting his body into Galvatron. It would have of course taken some creative license as in the show he basically just appears as Galvatron we don't actually see any of the parts per se convert into Galvatron. They do simply just have this sort of rectangular design and then Galvatron just does appear. But it also would have been pretty interesting to have gotten that super funky head sculpt. When Unicron does in fact almost scan Megatron, you get this x-ray of his internal workings and he's got these really crazy eyes. It's the same face that we get hidden on the MP36 Megatron. Would have been awesome if this guy could have had that. But nevertheless, as an actual repaint and a variant, it's one that I'm super glad to add to the collection. You can see he completely cast out this wicked transparent purple plastic, even the fusion cannon, completely transparent, which looks awesome. And of course, you've got this complete reformatting paint detailing on this side of Megatron, looking really, really impressive. You can see how it's working its way across, scanning Megatron in order to reformat it into Galvatron. I think the paintwork, for the most part, has turned out really, really nice. Of course, this is more than likely utilizing their 3D printing technology, so this has probably just been stamped on in the factory than as opposed to actually painted on, but I think it looks really, really impressive. As we spin around here to the back, the detailing does also continue. So we've once again got that square-like design with that really awesome electric blue and you can see a little bit of swirly plastic But it's actually not too bad here on Megatron and as we take a look here with him completely straightened You can see how all of the paint looks really cohesive and definitely does give you that transitioning vibe now in regards to Megatron's Articulation the head is on a ball joint so can look up to a fantastic degree as well as can look down It can of course tilt left to right as well as rotate the full 360 one of the best red figures Honestly, the arm can hinge out to the sides full rotation here at the shoulder, full rotation at the bicep, as well as a 90 degree bend here at the elbow, full wrist rotation. And we also do in fact actually get a hinge joint here at the wrist, which is super surprising considering as mentioned, this is transparent. We do get a full waist rotation, which is super cool. We do get a ratcheted ab crunch, which can go forwards that far, as well as back to that far. Sadly, we don't really get much seeing as this barrel does prevent it. The skirt can hinge out the side in order to accommodate the split, although still this section does slightly restrict that. We can kick forwards that far as well as back to that far, so still not the greatest. Once again, drop down hips, I really think are the way forward for modern day action figures. We do get a full rotation here at the thigh. Once again, it would have been nice to have seen them perhaps paint the interior section of this, as of course, this half of Megatron has been completely scanned. So a little lazy that they decided to just leave this plain, but you can see some nice sculpt work. We do get double joints here at Megatron's knees, allowing for him to basically kick himself up the backside, which is pretty decent. All of the joints are very stiff, and we do in fact actually get drop down feet. So just to demonstrate fresh out the pack, it, they do become compressed and I like to just take them 
extend them out like so, which allows for a much greater range of motion rocking side to side, albeit not the best seeing as the design does slightly compromise that, but you really do get an excellent range of motion here, kicking forwards and backwards. So overall, in regards to articulation, one of the best red figures, quality, definitely one of the best red figures. And in regards to a paint deco, if you want a slightly unusual variant of Megatron on the shelf based on the 1986 movie, I think this is definitely the one for you. This guy looks epic and it's a really, really nice job from one of, if not the most iconic scene in the A6 movie when Megatron does become Galvatron. Now, in regards to Megatron's accessories, we get this super awesome transparent pink purple Energon mace. Now, we saw this packaged with the first version, although the color scheme is a lot more vibrant and in my opinion actually looks a lot more faithful to when we see him actually use this in the show. Sadly, we never see reformatting Megatron wield this as of course he's essentially dead. He's on the brink of life and then Unicron of course rejuvenates him, but I guess he's a decent accessory. You can see really nice details just to show you how you can install this. You can pull off either of the hands. I personally like to use this one seeing as there's not much going on and we've got the fusion cannon attached there and you just snap that in there and of course you've got Megatron wielding the Energon mace looking really really cool. We also do get included a hand which has got an Energon cube actually permanently fused to it so we can just put that in there. So you can have Megatron offering Unicron a gift for reformatting him and reviving him. Just set that there off to the side. We also do get a pointing command hand so even though he's on the brink of death he can still command Unicron before he has an accident in his pants and very quickly realizes that he's no longer in charge and we also do finally get two different pairs of hands so we get this grasping one sadly no accessories for him to actually grasp it would have been awesome if we could have gotten the sword that we see him actually using the 86 movie to fend off against Optimus but nevertheless and then finally we do get one fisted hand so sadly no interchangeable pieces here for this side but considering he's got the fusion cannon I can't really think as to what they would give him as this would more than likely obstruct it. For some size comparisons, we've got reformatting Megatron compared next to the Wave 1 G1 Megatron. And just for the fun of it, here we've got Red Megatron compared next to Kingdom Leader class Galvatron. Now, of course, whilst not in scale at all, for those of you into stop motion animation, I think this will be a great figure in order to actually get that transitioning sequence from the movie. Or if you just wish for a display, you could have this Megatron in the grasp of your Haslab Unicron. And I think that would create for a really, really awesome display. Once again, super hopeful that we actually get this color variation in the main line or vice versa we get Galvatron in the red line which I actually believe is rumored so that'll be super interesting to see how he turns out. So some final thoughts for the Transformers Red 1986 movie reformatting Megatron. Overall as an actual base figure I think it's excellent by far one of the best figures that this line's seen especially out of wave one. I've always been a huge fan of that G1 Megatron so to get it here in probably one of the boldest and most unusual color schemes ever to actually grace my collection for Megatron I'm super happy and I'm actually super happy that we finally got a reformatting version of this guy as it's one of the best scenes in the 1986 movie and honestly I'm just super surprised that we haven't seen more of this color scheme actually from Hasbro as we all know how they love to repaint their figures so so many times and this really would be an obvious repaint especially considering that we've got Galvatron in the War for Cybertron line as well as Megatron but nevertheless I think this is a really really cool figure for those of you who are into the more wacky more unusual repaints I think you're really gonna like this guy he's definitely unique and will no doubt stand out amongst any of the other red figures that we've gotten so far so so if you're into repaints, he's definitely worth a look at. I actually really like him and I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I thank you guys so much for watching and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.